first look at the Pixel ROM or the Pixel 5 ROM as I prefer to call it running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the Pixel ROM or the Pixel 5 ROM as I prefer to call it based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Now, as you can see, Android version is 11. Security patch is from March 2021. The kernel they are using is Disrupt Mona kernel and SE Linux is set as enforcing. Now, why do I call this the Pixel 5 ROM? Well, if you go into settings about phone, it is mentioned as Pixel 5 and you do get Pixel 5 exclusive features on this ROM. Now, those of you who want to learn how to install this ROM, we do have videos for that which can be found in the description of this video and there are a few important things which you need to know about this ROM for starters it does not and I repeat it does not have face unlock and the developer has no plans of adding it why is that well because he wants pixel 5 features on the POCO F1 and the pixel 5 does not have face unlock then custom kernels your kernel needs to have specific commits those commits can be found in the description of this video those things out of the way this is how the rom comes out of the box and as you can see the android 11 easter egg cats game is working along with bubbles important thing to note bubbles is not supported by whatsapp right now you do get pixel launcher here it is select working like a boss screenshot bam tap on share quick share menu in the building press and hold on any application and then you can pin that specific application to your quick share menu so here it is messages was pinned without any issues google feed is present smooth no jitters and no lags temperature in your widget works without any issues make sure you do enable your location and let the phone sit for a few minutes and you will get the weather or the temperature in your widget next up let us have a look at the volume panel so here it is this is how the volume panel looks like quick setting tiles here it is these are the quick setting tiles you do have screen record which is going to let you record device audio and microphone at the same time let us go ahead and start this and now that the screen recording has started let us check if there is any lag in the ui when the screen recording is going on in the background and as you can see there are no jitters or no lags in the ui when we are screen recording now once screen recording is done you can of course share it in case you want to and yes you can access your notification history as well in case you want to add more tiles tap on the edit icon and bam here it is these are the other tiles which you can add tap on the three dot menu the only option you have is to reset and before i forget in your quick settings panel you do get the time until which your device is going to last next up press and hold on the empty space styles and wallpapers here is how the ui looks like you do get the pixel 5 exclusive live wallpapers which do include Star Wars, Mandalorian and the curated culture wallpapers as well. Go into style, here are the different pre-baked themes. Tap on custom, here are the different font options which are available. Here are the different icon options which are available. Accent colors are also present. Here are the different accent colors and here are the different icon shapes which are present. Once you're happy, go ahead give it a name tap on apply and it is going to be applied successfully other than that in styles and wallpapers you can also change the grid and here are the different grid options you have default 4x4 3x3 and 2x2 next thing let us go into settings network and internet wi-fi tap on it one more time 5 gigahertz wi-fi working without any issues disconnect option and if you go into advanced, you also have an option to enable auto connect on a per Wi-Fi basis. Going back into settings, apps and notification, see all apps. Let us go into Chrome, go into permissions and camera. Three different options for the permissions. And you also have a toggle to remove the permissions if an application is not used for some time. And before you ask me, 
how many days is that that is 60 days for android 11 then you do have priority conversations we already talked about notification history and bubbles google assistant is there when you activate the assistant for the first time it will tell you to download additional stuff make sure you have an active internet connection once that is done come back in here enable continued conversations and let us give it a try hey google how many planets are there what happened to pluto and as you can see continued conversations works without any issues and the assistant works with the screen turned off as well and in case you are worried that you do not get the blur effect go into settings enable developer options and then you can search for blurs once you search for blurs you will have this toggle go ahead and enable it reboot your device and you should have the blur effect as well next thing let us go into battery battery saver you do have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver then you can set a schedule for your battery either based on routine or based on percentage or toggle to turn off battery saver when the phone is charged at 90 percent adaptive battery is present there along with a toggle to show the battery percentage on the top right next up we can head over to display so you do have automatic brightness dark theme is there and you can turn it on and off at a custom time night light is present along with adaptive brightness we already talked about styles and wallpapers and screen timeout is present screen attention is also there and of course it is going to use your front camera to check whether you are looking at the screen or not and it works without any issues you have a toggle for auto rotate screen go into colors the options are missing right now but the developer will add them in the next build then you can change the font size the display size go into lock screen you can configure what text you want to see on the lock screen now playing is broken on this build and you have a toggle to wake the screen for new notifications double tap to wake is there let us test it out and there it is double tap to wake works without any issues go into sound and vibration you can change the different sounds and then you do have adaptive sound note this is a pixel 5 exclusive feature and it works without any issues in case you want to know more about it feel free to pause and read other than that you can change your phone ringtones and you have toggles for all these different options which you see on your screen right now moving over to security you only have screen lock and fingerprint which works without any issues we already had a discussion about face unlock on this rom moving over to system going to gestures you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice from any screen go into gesture navigation you have two different options gestures and three button if you go into settings you can configure the sensitivity for the left and the right edge then prevent ringing by pressing and holding power and volume up together either go into vibrate mode or into mute mode as long as this master toggle is enabled and yes you do have the option of enabling your device controls and any smart device which you have connected would show up over here in this blank area other than that in system you also have the option of rules so in case you want to set up a rule that as soon as you leave your home you want the wi-fi to be turned off and location to be turned on that is something which you can do over here go into developer options you do have wireless debugging and in case you want to hide the notch you should have an option for display cutout here it is hide it as you can see the corners are rounded and the option works without any issues those of you who want to see the fps you have a toggle for show refresh rate as well here it is top left of the screen you can see the 60 appear and disappear next thing we can check for is safety net so here it is my device is not rooted right now however i do have magisk manager installed to check for safety net as you can see on your screen passing without any issues let us open the play store as well and we can see the play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your 
banking apps without any issues now in terms of youtube media playback there are no jitters no lags picture in picture works live caption works of course for picture in picture to work either you need youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium in case of widevine well unfortunately widevine is l3 but fortunately for the poco f1 even if you have l1 status you cannot play prime hd videos because once you get murder by the minute you don't care about all these things then we can also check out the google one application which was installed on my device and here it is google one as you can see let us get started bam important thing to note on your screen right there this is another advantage of having the pixel 5 rom on your poco f1 next up in terms of the voice recorder application for pixel devices here is the recorder application and yes this one does let you back up your recordings to the cloud and you can access them at recorder.google.com then we can also check the photos application here is a picture of my favorite football star try to edit this picture wait for this bar to load going to adjust here it is portrait light in the building works without any issues now another feature which i would like to check is the new google fit application which does let you track or record your heart rate for starters once you install this go into info make sure the version is 2.51 because this is the version from which the new features were added next up go into permissions and grant it all these permissions location you can go ahead and choose only while using the application or ask anytime then here is the fit application and bam check your heart rate let us get started tap on next next start the measurement it wants me to place the finger on the camera let me do that here it is detecting my pulse and heart rate monitoring is going on right now measurement complete heart rate at 96 beats per minute and similarly in case you want to track your respiratory rate you have the option for that as well this is going to use your front camera of course for both these measurements these are not medically approved so be aware of that simple warning or disclaimer and before i forget let us also check out the app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now you can see no jitters no lags everything is pretty smooth recents here it is no jitters and no lags in the recents as well check out the google feed again no jitters no lags in the google feed either and there it is peeps that was our first look at the pixel or the pixel 5 rom running on the poco f1 now i know a lot of you are going to ask me why should we use this rom or how is this rom different from pixel experience well for starters you do get some pixel 5 exclusive features like the assistant 2.0 with continued conversations which is not present in pixel experience rom and yes you do lose out on face unlock but there are some trade-offs to be made so which is the best rom amongst the pixel rom or the pixel experience well that my friends is a personal preference and that is something which you need to decide for yourself no one else should be making that decision for you you need to make the decision as to which rom suits you the best based on your needs and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you